Oh, hey. So this video is an attempt to make sense of the different versions of Cassidy that appear on Weir's album Ace. There are now, the, the new release, there are two outtakes of him playing. There's definitely the use of a open tuning. If you listen to his version, his official version, it sounds like it's in standard tuning, but then these demo versions, they definitely have something else going on. I did a little poking around, and Weir refers to it as some long forgotten open tuning that he used. But I did a little bit more digging, and I found some fourth hand, <clears throat> fourth hand reference of somebody who remembered somebody saying that once they thought they heard that Weir said it was in open D minor tuning. So I decided to try to give it a try. So what I did was tune my guitar such that it's in a D minor tuning. So what we got is we got D, A, D, F, A, and D, the notes that make up the D minor. And then what I try to do is, since it's a completely unfamiliar uh, you know, even if you play around with open tuning, probably never have played around with that one. So basically, I just try to figure out what the different chord shapes were. Assuming the song started in E, what those chord shapes would look like. That didn't quite work. Tried it in F, tried it in F sharp. Eventually, I found that D sharp seems to be the key that both of these uh, studio rehearsal versions are in. So let me just show you some of the shapes that I'm going to use. To get a, mi a major out of this D minor tuning, we're going to do this. Essentially bar everything and then fret the third string on the second fret. That's one way to get a major. So that's a D sharp major. Another place to get a D sharp major is going to be something that looks like a D shape, but it's going to have an extra note here. So we'll use this up at the fifth and sixth frets. That's a D sharp major. So is this. Now the open position will give us a minor. Here we'll have. F minor, just barring everything, is F minor. Here, we'll just walk it up. F, G, G sharp. Another place you can get the minor is actually with a minor looking shape. That's going to be a D sharp minor. So if this is our D sharp major. our G major. Alright, so basically think about the way the dead play it. They play it in E. Basically, take the progression and just drop it down a half step using these different shapes. Here's another place where we're going to try. This is going to be a D sharp minor. You can do it here in that shape, or you can do it here in that shape. So, different voicings. So, I'll go through the two different versions that Weir's got. One of them is him basically just doing a little bit of da 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 in place of words. That's uh, the second studio version. And then the first <clears throat> demo cut is something a little bit more elaborate that's got a bunch of pull-offs and uh, some more characteristic weird uh, licks in it. I'm not going to try to capture it note for note because I'm not even sure if it's the right tuning, but we'll see what we can get. So putting those pieces together, maybe you can build on it and get something useful. All right, let's see what happens.